One of the things that may help us during this period of lockdown is the practice of what I call instant prayer. Colossians 4.2 says, Be instant in prayer, watching in it with thanksgiving. We sometimes have the idea that prayer has to be a regulated and planned event, and we need to conform to certain practices and procedures. If God is always present, then it follows that prayer can be an instant and spontaneous occasion, uttered in any place and at any time. I sometimes think that God would rather we come to him in the instant of our need. Jesus told the parable about the persistent neighbour and concluded with these words. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks the door will be opened. We may well feel perplexed when it comes to that moment of instant prayer. However, we need to be aware that the Holy Spirit is God's own Spirit living within us. And because He is attuned to the mind of God, He is able to overcome all our communication limitations. All too often we are stumped for words in uttering instant prayer. But His Spirit within us is able to pray for us in those deep feelings and agonising longings for which at sometimes we can never find words. His Spirit knows and understands our deepest longings and desires and is able to communicate and intercede for us beyond our own limited human ability. Perhaps there are four helpful hints to instant prayer. Be grateful. Always remember and be thankful for what God has done for you. Be bold. Believe that God seeks your presence. Be honest. Tell God exactly what is going on in your world. Be willing. When we connect with God, even for an instant, the outcome should be to do His will. O God, if still the holy place is found of those in prayer, by all the promises of grace, I claim an entrance there.